So for most dogs, riding in the car is a lot of fun, but there are some guys that are just terrified of it. You start to walk them up towards the car and they put on the brakes and they fight it. And that's really where your training has to begin is before you get into the car. So for those guys, I take a little extra time. I work on walking them around. You know, we just kind of walk like our loose leash walking. We mill around, we go past the car, we keep the dog at a distance where he feels safe and comfortable, but he still knows the car is there. Um, I'll do some obedience with the dogs, so I'll pull out some food, and I'll just start working on some obedience. Sit. Yes. Sit. I dropped a piece, that happens. Yes. Sit. Yes. And what I'm really just trying to do is create a good experience around the car, and I'm also trying to distract the dog's mind a little bit. So she knows the car is here, but she's not so worried about it. Um, and this is kind of where I start. It could take you several sessions, um, but I get to this point before I get to anywhere else in here. And, and just kind of uh, moving the dog in the, into the car, again, it's, it's going to be a slow process for those kind of dogs. For other dogs, um, can cause a problem is when dogs get too excited. They get too excited, they want to climb over the top of you, they're jumping on your car, they're scratching it. So um, for those guys, I'll do the same type of stuff, uh, just a little more control work around the car. We walk around, I don't allow them to jump, I'm using the leash to block them. And uh, same thing for getting in. We want to teach some control about getting in. This dog loves to jump into the car, so I'm going to show you what we do. Um, she's going to be on leash. Sit. Yes. Feed up those last bits of treats here. Um, she's going to be on leash, so I'm going to use a leash to block her. I'm going to do my bumping thing that we do for our loose leash walking because um, I want her to learn how to do this on her own. I want her to stay still. So I come over to the door. I lift it open. Again, we don't want a bunch of tension on the line because I don't want her to feel like I'm holding her there. There's a little bit of slack, but I'm also ready for her to want to jump in, right? I open that. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm not going to yank on her and flip her over backwards if she tries to jump in. I'm just going to let that happen and restart. But now that we have this nice little calm, we're here. Kennel. Right? We can come in here. I would take my leash off. I see I'll demo that for you here. Um, I can take my leash off. We close up. And it's time to hit the road, right? We're out of here. My dog's safe and secure in her crate. When it's time to come out, same thing. I have my leash ready. I open my crate door, I put that on her. Okay. We can come out. Um, and we're just trying to create nice, calm, comfortable experiences riding in the car. A little set of rules. You can't just plow in there. You can't jump on the car. You can't just dive out and, and you know run off or anything like that. So we still want to keep these rules on the car so that we don't run into any problems in the future. The other thing is dogs jumping in and out, even a small car like this, dogs jumping in and out. Um, over time it can cause some problems to their joints. So I do recommend uh, something like this. This is just a little step that goes into a trailer hitch. Um, dogs can step up on there, especially older dogs or bigger dogs, they can step up on there to get in and out and it just makes it a little easier on their body long term. Uh, sometimes people will use stools and things like that, which are okay. You just have to be careful that they don't uh, get wobbly or fall over with the dog.